Learning Web3 development today is like buying Bitcoin at $1 yesterday. I'm seeing a high demand for Web3 developers with an average annual salary of $140,000. And there are many opportunities of making money with Web3. To learn more or if you don't know what Web3 is, check out my last video titled What is Web3? Now is the best time to learn Web3 development. But how do you do that? What are the prerequisites? Where do you begin? Do you buy a $5,000 course? No, the good news is you don't have to do that since you're watching this video. There are great free resources available online. And all you need is just a step-by-step -step organized plan and a clear roadmap to becoming a Web3 developer. And in this video, I'm just going to give you that. So let's get started. There are some prerequisites before getting into Web3 and blockchain. You need a solid foundation in computer science. If you don't already have one, take this free course by Harvard University, uh, The Fundamentals for Computer Science. It will teach you all you need to know to understand the basics of computers and data handling. Also, if you're already a Web2 developer, you can take many things with you from Web2 inside Web3. Web3 applications have a standard vanilla JavaScript or JavaScript framework front-end. That's why before delving into developing your first decentralized app, it's key to learn the basics of front-end development and how the web works. Learn HTML, CSS, HTTP, and pick a framework like React uh, or Angular or Svelte and start building static websites. Once you have completed the prerequisites, it's time to learn how the blockchain works, why it's useful, and its limitations. As a Web3 developer, you need to understand what the blockchain is, how it works, and why it might disrupt the way we exchange goods and make payments. Blockchain technology is no more related only to crypto coins, but it has become a truly distributed cloud computing system capable of running full backends to power cutting edge decentralized applications. Learn blockchain on Coursera for free with this blockchain specialization course. The applications built on top of blockchain are called decentralized applications or dApps and have a standard front end and a back end. The front end is built using JavaScript or a framework libraries like React, Vue, Svelte, and so on. The backend is a Solidity, Solana, Rust backend built on top of the blockchain. When you learn about the blockchain, nodes, consensus, and all the main components of this technology, you'll start to wonder, what kind of applications can I develop using the blockchain? This website, DappRadar, uh, you can find real-world examples of DeFi, decentralized finance, and other blockchain-based applications. A Web3 developer needs to understand how Ethereum works. Ethereum is a software running on a network of computers that ensure replication and processing of small programs called smart contracts. The majority of decentralized applications now run on top of the Ethereum blockchain. Smart contracts has also been implemented by the Ethereum consortium, then copied by other blockchains. It's a key to becoming an Ethereum expert for Web 3.0 and Solidity development, at least in 2022. If you want to explore further what Ethereum is, I heavily suggest you check the documentation. Ethereum and smart contracts are like bread and butter. You need to understand both. A smart contract is a software stored on blockchain-based platform that automatically executes an agreement. It is written in Solidity, Rust, or Viper. Viper is a Solidity but in Python flavor and is the key component of any decentralized application, powering its business logic and allowing you to store information on the blockchain just like you would do in a standard database. Learn what smart contracts are in this free course by the University of New York. Of course, knowing what smart contracts are is not enough.
As a Web3 or blockchain developer, you have to know how to write your own smart contracts and use them to power your own decentralized applications. Here is when Solidity comes in help. Solidity is a high-level contract-oriented programming language to write smart contracts allowing programmers to write self-executing code that powers blockchain dApps. If you have a background in Python programming language, then check out this blockchain and Solidity course on YouTube, which is 16 hours complete tutorial by Free Code Camp. Web3 University collects the best tutorials about Web3 development, from zero to hero, from what is a smart contract to how to create an automated market maker. With content coming from the best creators in the Web3 space, Web3.University is probably the most comprehensive knowledge base you'll find online about blockchain development and Web3 tutorials. Become a Web3 developer with Web3.University. Crypto Zombies uh, turns out, uh, one of the best resources to learn about Solidity is a gamified programming course where you'll learn how to develop smart contracts while creating a zombie factory to start your world domination plan. The game is divided into sections going from complete newbie to advanced Solidity developer. I suggest you to play it while following one of the other courses. It's, it helps with practice. Check out this Crypto Zombies. It's completely free. Probably one of the most popular Web3 websites out there, BuildSpace, is a platform hosting bi-weekly cohort-based courses completely for free. Create your first NFT marketplace, full-stack DeFi application, or a blockchain-based game. And best of all, BuildSpace provides an exclusive job board with positions from the best Web3 companies for all the students attending their courses. Lastly, they will give you a free NFT once you've completed a course project. Now that you know how to create a smart contracts, you need a way to connect your front end with your local or remote Solidity or a similar backend using anything from HTTP to WebSockets. To do so, you can choose between two JavaScript libraries, web3.js and ethers.js. Web3.js is a collection of libraries that allow you to connect with a local or remote Ethereum node using HTTP, WebSockets, and other communications protocol directly from your JavaScript-based frontend. Ethers.js is a lightweight JavaScript library used as an alternative to Web3.js to connect JavaScript frontend with smart contracts. Alchemy.com. Think of Alchemy like the Amazon Web Services of the blockchain. It provides you the infrastructure needed to deploy your decentralized applications in no time with a reliable and analytics ready node provider and tools. Alchemy will also provide you with APIs to deploy NFT collections without writing a single Solidity line, notifications connected to on chain events, and an enhanced Web3 library with smart sockets and an expanded Ethereum API. The best place to learn more about Alchemy is their extensive documentations. Uh, Remix is a free web-based integrated development environment specifically developed for Ethereum smart contract development using Solidity and YUL. No setup is required and navigating to its homepage will automatically bring you to a full-fledged code editor with a few examples. From Remix IDE, you'll be able to write, compile, test, and deploy your Solidity smart contracts by just clicking a button. Sometimes, Remix IDE won't be enough, and bringing your project to a good old Visual Studio code will be the only decision to take. To do this, you will need to set up a local Ethereum development environment, and that is exactly what Hard Hat helps you with. Hard Hat comes with a set of fundamental functionalities to create, test, and deploy your decentralized applications on multiple chains like a Polygon, Robston, Ethereum, mainnet and many more it will also give you the ability to spin up a local ethereum node to test your smart contracts without the need of deploying them on a public blockchain speed up your development with truffle a development environment testing framework and asset pipeline for any evm blockchain
It comes with built-in smart contract compilation, a scriptable migration framework, and more. Gnage, on the other hand, comes included in the Truffle suite, and it is used to test Ethereum contracts. It essentially creates a simulated blockchain with accounts to test your transactions and avoid setting up useless boilerplates to kickstart your decentralized application development. Learn Ganache from the official documentation. Morales. Think Firebase of crypto. This is how Morales describes itself. Morales provides managed backend for blockchain projects, automatically syncing the balances of your users into the database, allowing you to set up on-chain alerts, watch smart contract events, build indexes, and so much more. All features are accessed through an easy-to-use SDK. All features Morales provides are cross-chain by default. Simply put, Morales is a game changer. Spin up a fully fleshed dApp in a matter of seconds, leveraging the power of wallet-based authentication system and fetch data directly from the blockchains, saving it to a NoSQL database, all with a couple lines of code. Their documentations are a place to learn it from. We have reached to the end of the video. In conclusion, Web3 is not something you would learn in a week. Uh, but if there is full commitment, anyone can do it in one year. It's very interesting and I promise it will be all worth it at the end. Thank you for your time in watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to encourage me to keep on creating videos like this for you, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon. Comment, like, share with your friends. It's a great support for me and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much.